I'm going to take off Miss Mosley's gel using the pink magic bit. And these are how old, Barbara? Three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, about 21 days. I can't believe this year is going by so quickly. It is, isn't it? Too fast. I can't believe we're almost in, like, you know, May. And then Mother's Day is right around the corner. Are you excited for Mother's Day? I kind of got excited today when I went to the card store. Uh huh. Thought about the mother's day. It's so expensive now. Yeah, everything's expensive. Right? I was at Hallmark and uh, Hunted Hallmark. Uh huh. And, my goodness, the other card was like seven fifty. What? Yeah. That is crazy. I think the, the, the cheapest card I bought was four ninety nine. So that's five dollars. Oh my gosh. You should have gone to the dollar store. Yeah, exactly. Or I kind of like to make my own. Oh, that's nice. Because it's handwritten? Well, no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty good. I make some really beautiful cards. And I usually include a picture of a person. Because most of the people I know I have pictures of. And I'll put their picture on the card or something. Or a mm -hmm. picture of them and me on the card. You know. Just so it's more, uh, has more sentimental value to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Are your kids gonna come and visit you for uh, Mother's Day? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Wouldn't that be nice if they surprised you? It's been a long time since they've been down to uh, yeah. T Town. So it's time to, it's time to do a little visit. Look how fast this fit, you guys, takes off all that gel. And you can see the dust is non-airborne. The dust literally falls to the ground. So it makes it a lot more convenient. So you have a more of a dust-free environment for the snatching of the phalanges. I think it's really good because my niece, she used to do nails. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. It would have been a different story. Yeah. Does she still want to get back into the nail game? No. no. Where is she living now? She actually moved here. Oh, she moved back? Wow. Not that many people moved back. Too busy. I'm just running my mouth. Sorry. Which pink diamond bit was that? Pink magic. Yeah, it took off the top layer in no time. Is Second. It? Is the length good, or do you want them a little bit shorter? The length is good. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna do what we call our plumping manicure, which is kind of like a cross between a gel overlay and a fill on Miss Mosley because her nails still look pretty, are in pretty good condition. And we're also going to clean out the inside, you guys. So right now, I'm re debulking the sides of the nails, too, to make them more narrow looking. Oh, okay. Because Barbara don't like no wide nails. No, I don't. <laughs> but this is, that, that's so fast, taking off that gel. You guys don't forget that if we reach 100 views today, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. Really? Yes, and we got so many sales and things going on with the website, you guys. Like, we did a massive restock on the flash gels. We launched the 5XL score, uh, stiletto. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, that's a very Barbara Mosley kind of length. <laughs> and we restocked the 5XL square as well, too. So, lots of stuff going on. The stickers are selling like crazy, you guys. No. Barbara's excited to get stickers for the first time. It's been years, hasn't it? It's yeah, years. I can't even remember. Yeah, so long ago. 
so that'll be fun. Let's remove the dust. I was in Houston. I mean, Houston. The takeaways, as in, like food? Mm -hmm. Oh, the class was great. Other than, like, the, I think the biggest issue we had was the facility, that how poorly we were treated. And the, the, it was just the worst, you guys. But, you know, we got, uh, we got through it, and they didn't end up charging me the, the fee that she wanted to charge me. And the lady, the, the hotel manager, she avoided me the whole time. She, I never once came out to say hello or anything. Really? Yes. Oh when I got there, she was talking to somebody and she ran to the back. Oh, she saw you and... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. She heard, yeah. And then she just went into the back and she would not come out. And then um, the young lady that was in the front office was like, Oh, let me ask the manager. And she would have to go to the back and talk to her. The manager... Hi, Sue. The manager would not come out and talk to us. That's horrible. How does so, she keep her job? Exactly. And the, the sad thing is that hotel has so many positive reviews, Barbara. Really? Yes. It's like almost like 4.3 or 4.7 stars out of 5. Uh -uh. I was shook. I don't know. I know you gave it 0 stars and 2. I should have wrote a negative review. And I called to complain to corporate and they're like, well, each uh, Holiday Inn is independently owned and operated, so there's nothing we can do. That was their reply. Ugh, it was an ongoing battle. So right now we're going in with the diamond mani pits to begin to clean out all that cuticle area. Yeah, she was right. She said that is really scary. The worst. And you know, I've done events, all many events all over the world, and that was probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had. So we will never ever go back to that Holiday Inn. The holiday in Houston? Yeah, downtown, right across the street from uh, the arena. No way. Where the, uh, what is it, Mavericks? Or what, what's the Houston No, change? Dallas is the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, what's Houston? Um, it used to be the Oilers. Or the Rockets, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I don't know what they are anymore. They wanted to charge you extra fees? Why? Uh, because uh, of the room uh, block, that the rooms were not uh, booked up. So then they're like, oh, well, if you don't, if the rooms don't book up, you have to pay them then. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. No way. Yes. I was like, she's cooker for Cocoa Puffs if yeah. she thinks I'm going to do that. And you really do need to leave a bad review. It's still a breeze. She says, please leave a bad review. I agree. <laughs> so you guys can see that even with, you know, thicker, dry cuticle, dry non-living tissue, you really can go in with a bit and begin to lift it all up so that way we get a really beautiful seamless application around here. And then I love the pause button on our drill, you guys, because you can continue working without having to go, like, go back and forth, back and forth. So go back in and push a little bit more. Pause button. Yeah, it has a pause button. So that we don't have to like physically turn on and off the machine all the time. And we're gonna go, of course, with our bottom chick, which is uh, pink press on gel. Barbara, are you a bottom chick? Yeah. I used to work for hotels. Still used to work for hotels years ago. You don't pay for rooms not taken, just saying. And the lady's like, it's in your contract. And I was like, um, it says it was done as a courtesy, so I'm not paying for something that I did not. I sign up for. I think so. She was trying to trying to get what you would go for. So right now we're gonna go in with the Russian manicure drill bits. So we need to clean everything up. So I would never ever recommend that hotel you guys.
And a lot of the students came in from different parts of Texas too. They were, um, yeah, they were telling us we should go visit San Antonio. Have you ever been there, Barbara? Yes, I have. Is that a nice city? Yes. I, I would imagine. Totally enjoy myself. This one of the few places in Texas where I really enjoy. Really? Does it look like Tucson? I don't know why I have that impre that feeling. I can't really remember. So many places just mesh together in mm -hmm. mind, you know, when you travel a lot, like mm -hmm. those two, they just get blurry. The and days remember, and everything. Yeah, the hotels, everything. But I do remember... Having a good time. I, yeah, I had a good time. The people were very nice. Um, my clients were super nice. They didn't have any issues. What about in the Big D? Yeah, you need to go back. Houston was yes, Houston is. I know what the H stands for in Houston. <laughs> but I mean, for, I, all my customers and all the the Pink Army that lives in Houston is very nice. But just the people that we encountered were not the gave the best impression of Houston, which is really sad because it is such a huge um, city and a important part of American. Uh, cities and every, there's so much uh, industry in Houston too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right now we're using diamond prep. Mm -hmm. And I'm prepping the natural nail, removing that shine and getting it ready for the trimming. And it's cheaper to live in Houston than it is in Dallas. Yes, it is. It is. And I'm thinking maybe it's because of the, the uh, the weather and uh, and you do have to be concerned with the hurricane. natural disasters. I think that's one of the lucky things about living here is that we don't have anything other than extreme heat. You could have some really bad fires, you know, this Oh yeah, in the mountains we do in Mount Lemon, it always lights up on a fire. But I think if they did those controlled fires, that would uh, help a lot with that. Yeah, the controlled burn. Mm-hmm. You know, you got two different camps on that. Yes. So you got the pros on. But supposedly it does help a lot, though. Yeah. We're going to go in and clean, clean, clean. With the diamond prep. See, pull back that skin. I'm using the tip of the bit. And we're very gently going in and cleaning. Doesn't this feel so clean though, Barbara? It does. And it doesn't hurt. And it's really important to do this dry, okay, you guys? Control to major tone. <laughs> Can anyone hear me? Can anyone? <laughs> is the lighting okay too, or is it kind of dark? No, the lighting's okay. Yeah? I don't know that you can really see it, though, when you're doing that. I can't really... There we go. Very, very clean. So, I, you have to hold the hand like this. If you do it like this, it's harder. So, hold it like this, kind of like you're backwards and then very gently go in and you can see that it very gently gets rid of all that crusty molest. In one direction. Well Barbara we can't be perfect. You had to have one you had to have one uh, manufacturing defect. But look at that you guys. So much cool, cool. What are the girls saying, Barb? They're busy watching the snacks and other flanges. And 
I actually I was looking forward to this because I, I really enjoy it I like going in and I like really aggressively cleaning the cuticle <laughs> I need to aggressively clean somebody said it was blurry it is it's blurry where the nail is high up on the screen is it blurry? Yeah. there we go is that better you guys? So that way we can pull back that skin really see what we need to go in and clean. If you do this wet, it won't work, you guys. So if your clients have, for example, clammy hands or hands that sweat a lot or very oily, I would suggest you put a coat of nail prep on their skin to help dehydrate it more. So that way it's easier to clean everything. Really? Yes. Because the skin is kind of like an onion peel, so if it's wet, it'll just keep on going and going and going and it won't really like flake off of what you need to take off. Look at that, how clean it is now. Uh, it might be the, the pressure you're using, because I'm not using absolutely any pressure. You need to do this absolutely like you're kind of frosting like a cake. Like Machine do the work for you exactly. Yes. Band it. Ooh. Is that right there? Almost out of frame and out of culture. Yes, I think it's in there or little wipes. Somebody said almost out of frame. What happened? Gee. That could be the, uh, the, uh, the light bulb that I'm using too that makes it look blurry. Adjust it for the girls. Let me see if that works better for them. Is that better, you guys? I think it is. Let's try it out. Is that better for you guys? So now we're gonna do one coat of nail press the skin as well to keep everything clean and dehydrated and if there's any little extra flyaways we're going to trim those at the end because if we go in a little bit too excessively we don't want to bleed or anything like that so we'll just wait till the end for those that will be nice and smooth are you excited Barbara for your butterflies I know, you guys are seeing the prototype. Everyone's gonna be like, we want it now. <laughs> it is, but do you feel more comfortable with it, Barbara? Yes. And it's less strain on my shoulder, too. And, and um, 
my shoulder. It's, it's more high. comfortable? I like the height. Yes. Yeah. So I think you're going to have to make sure that... It doesn't slide around. No, that the client's chair is adjusted. To the height. To the right height. Your finger? Oh, in between? Yeah. Let's give it a few seconds to air dry. And now we're going to go in with a nice little coat of pink press on gel. And we're going to do our first coat over the entire phalange. You can also use it for pedicures too. Oh my gosh, that sounds painful. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so She scary. hit it hard. Yeah. She went running. So we need to try this brand instead of going to Sally's Beauty. The nail thing. Why are you still playing with Sally's Beauty Supply, really? Mama? Really? You're up that game. Years ago, I had a pre-k student who had a litany and then she ripped off my acrylic thumbnail. Oh my god, Antonia! What happened? She said she had a pre-k student who had lots of issues. Mm -hmm. and they ripped off one of her nails. Oh my gosh, the student did? Yeah. Ooh, how did she not <laughs> rip that student a new one? <laughs> I know. Well, you know, as a teacher, whatever, you gotta have the patience of a gotta, saint. Yeah. Oh, this is so much better. Yeah. Oh, his brand of stuff is just so much better. A game changer. So I'm doing my second coat of pink press on gel, and I'm kind of like frosting it on the nail to give it volume, as we call the plumping technique. So remember, you plump your lips, you plump your cheeks, you plump the phalanges. Yeah. Yeah, he had some major issues and was. ESE, oh my goodness, that was just one of the things he did. Oh my gosh, Antonia. What's ESE? Oh my gosh. The quality is excellent in comparison, plus the packaging is to die. And the pricing is very, very affordable. Yes. I love the packaging. Ouch, my thumb is really bad. Like crazy. Oh my goodness, man. Look at that, you guys. Her nails look so healthy now. Yeah, they do. So it's almost like I'm using it as a builder in a bottle, so it's just fast and convenient. Okay, we're gonna bake that for one minute, my dear. Let me show that hands all the way in. Beautiful. 
So do you like moving Bar Barbara and I were talking about that she might have to move in January and I was like Wow Oh it's called the crunk. There we go. <laughs> or crumping. Is it crunk or crump? Crunk. It's crunk, isn't it? Yeah. What about when you dance? Is it crunking or crumping? Crunk. Crunk. That's what I thought too, and someone was like, no, it's with a P. Crumping. I never heard of crumping. But but you think about me. <laughs> so the stickers we're going to use on Miss Mosley today are... Oh, um, oh, sorry. Me or you? No, she's baking. She's inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Yeah, but asking if maybe you working. I don't know, man. So we're going to be using these beautiful red roses and flowers and butterflies and these ones too. I think there's only like three left actually of these on the website here in the US. So if you want them, snatch them up now. And the purple ones are sold out. But they will be back in stock next week available. So we might tease the girls with some of the stuff that's out of stock. We might, because Barbara was like, I really want those Max. <laughs> and he's so nice. And I was I told like, him well, to sneak one on. <laughs> we might do one, because I want to do a, a flash gel one on her, but she doesn't want a flash gel. She's like, I want butterfly. I want fiber. Happy. Fly away, oh. little butterfly. Do you remember that song, Barbara? Oh, yeah. From Mariah Carey. Oh, so? Almost. Oh, yeah. You got like six more seconds. Like Mariah yes. Mm -hmm. Did they give you a confirmation number? That's why. Maybe he forgot. Okay. Horrible. Jackie, Jackie Rusty said, Hi, Max. I got my order today. Hi. Can't wait to try um, DIY gel. I hope you love it. It's such a fast delivery. I was so happy. Love the pink roses. Oh, Love thank you. Roses. Which oh, this oh, they're beautiful. They're all of them. Are they? Do you want some more roses, Barbara? We have another one too. You can take it out now. I'm gonna use my hand sanitizer too. Mm -hmm. Remove the oxygen inhibition layer on her nails. Oh. So, Any hand ours because it doesn't have that much alcohol. It has more ah. ethanol in it, so it won't affect the um. Won't affect the polish. Yes, the uh, the adhesion of the product. Okay. Look at that, you guys. So flawless. Using inocouture.com. And we're going to clean out the inside as well, too, a little bit. But we're just going to shape them up. And because we pre-shaped the nails, the filing is so minimal. Hey, that's funny. You want to hear a funny story, Barbara? Yeah. It's kind of naughty, though. That's okay. The, one of our students in Texas was like, what's a bottom chick? <laughs> And we were like, well, about, you know, um, we had to explain to her very, very politically correctly, though, very gently. And she was like, oh, <laughs> but why isn't she called the top chick? And I was like, because she's down for anything. That's what a bottom chick is. <laughs> now, how did you guys get into that conversation? Because she, oh, because I always say, oh, this is the bottom chick, this is the bottom chick. Um. Barbara, you're a bottom chick. I really know. You're one of Thank my you bottom chicks. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. You know, I'm gonna be a guest speaker at the Scott Lash and Brown conference and um, Marisol, who's the organizer of it, is my good friend. She was like, what kind of music do you want to walk out to? Because they're going to have all the um, mm. the guest speakers and everybody mm -hmm. that's uh, be participating in it mm -hmm. walk out to a, a hype song, she called it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. 
I was like, maybe Meg the Stallion or something. <laughs> but uh, um, she had told me that she wanted to do like a Venezuelan drums. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, why don't you do that then? And she was like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, somebody wants to know what your soak and your bits and Acetone. Okay. Good old plain acetone, 100%. So, Samantha, you got that? Hey, hey, I received my order. I wanted to say thank you for the gift, the bit. Thank You're welcome. Yeah, we had a promo code where if you enter that promo code, you get a free gift. But right now, we have that blowout sale going on. So many items at youknowvictoria.com are 50% off, you guys. Wow. That is an incredible ganga. Yeah. 50% off selected items. Kathy says DIY gel is a game changer. Do you Love like it? it? Oh, thank you. It. I appreciate that. It's been very, very well received. Somebody wants to know how long. Oh, Veronica wants to know. I guess I was married. If what? She wanted to know how long so, uh, one of the ladies said she got her delivery so fast. So we're going the to use... The you did on yourself last night is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're going to use the golden wand bit just to really gently clean everything up. How do you feel, Barbara? I feel really clean. Like a million bucks. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like a brand new two dollar bill. And Tony says the deliveries take as long as the chair, depending on where you live, and that's true. Mm-hmm. And some other places do have delays, other, uh, we don't, luckily, here, where we live, but um, maybe other places have delays. Due to the weather. Has the worst oh my gosh, you know who everything. else has really bad too? Oh. Denver, Colorado. Oh, do they? Oh, the worst. Oh my gosh. That airport is famous for never being on time. Well, oh, you meant plane delays. They well, yeah, because a lot of packages go by plane too. Oh, yeah. But I used to, when I traveled a lot, mm -hmm. I would hate having to change planes and didn't because you know would, you're going to miss a flight tell, i would just tell the lady at the company who booked all of our travel trips and uh, travel and everything i would i just told her, i said look if it's going to cost me an extra some extra money please don't route me into denver or salt lake city neither one <laughs> you're like i want to make my flight i would get stuck there so often I just said, I'm not going to Denver anymore. I'm not going to Denver anymore. And it's such an inconvenience, too. Yeah, it is. So right now I'm going back in with that, oh, sorry, the Diamond Manny bit, very gently airbrushing that Kiroko. When you might get more of the active almond tips back in stock? Um, we'll probably have them back in stock. Um, it's, on, it's in our production line right now, but uh, we're finishing up other things that were in production already. So, Active Almond will probably be back in stock, mm, I'm thinking around June. Because right now we uh, just finished a massive production on the 123 GO 5XL sizes. And um, we are launching a new shape on Saturday as well too, which is the um, extra long sculpted stiletto. Your hand okay there, Ignacio? Oh, Wendy said, we like naughty stories, lol. <laughs> I think the almond is one of the ones being, well, before I say, Ooh, nice. Yes. <laughs> Let's do the inside a little bit for Miss yeah. Mosley. Clean her out. I'm going back in oh. with the same diamond mani bit. Very gently go in and get all that gunk. You guys can see Barbara's had these this full set on for a while already. 
absolutely no lifting. When you prep the nail properly with our products, press on gel, Kung Fu grips the nail and it really creates a strong bond. Kung Fu grip. <laughs> Jackie said her order came in like four days. Mm-hmm. Testify, testify, testify. Yeah. And she said their mail is usually so slow, so. Oh my gosh, you remember last year? At the height of, of, of uh, Rona? Oh my gosh. I mailed something and it took 28, almost a month, 28 days to get there. Wow. I sent it to my son in um, Chicago. Mm-hmm. And it took 28 days to get there. And they lied and said, you know how you can ask for tracking and all that? So I'm tracking it, and they said they delivered it. It was three days later oh that my gosh. he actually got it. Sometimes the post office does it on purpose, too. Yeah. So that they can keep their uh, uh, record, their thing. And their money too. Because if it says it was delivered and it wasn't, well, they're, even if it wasn't, they're still not going to refund you too. Not anymore, not since Corona. Before, they would refund you. I got really? tons of refunds. Yeah. But now there's no guarantee, even if you pay for express yeah, shipping. Honey, you might as well wait, not waste your time paying for express if it's going to New York. The Pony Express mail. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in with the uh, diamond uh, prep fit again and just further refine that cuticle area and make sure it's really, really blended for fill. The Pony Express mail. Do you remember that, Barbara, back in yeah. the day? So remember, Pony hold the finger. Yeah. I'm sorry. Too close, sorry. Our mail is usually so slow, I was thrilled they got their record time to get that. Uh, uh, Leah said she can't see. I'm oh, sorry. It gets a little blurry when I do this. I don't know why. I don't know why it gets blurry when I hold it like this, but it is essential when doing this technique, you guys, to hold the finger like this. So that way you have that control that you need. What are you doing? Just blending it in? Yeah, and just getting rid of any little like flyaways or anything like that, making sure there's no dead <laughs> dry skin. Danielle said every time she hears Kung Fu, she thinks of Panda. Panda <laughs> Express. Yeah. Or the Kung Fu Panda movie. Wasn't it yes, Panda? I've never seen it though. Have you? No, I never saw it. Do you like Pet Express though, Barbara? Uh, you know, I do. They have a couple of things that I actually do like. I have to admit, I do like the orange chicken. It tastes like Chinese chicken McNuggets. Yeah, it's good. It's probably the same thing too. And it, um, they have good um, uh, that spicy beef. Oh, the Mongolian one. I do like their shrimp too. Their shrimp yeah. with uh, walnuts is pretty good. But they yeah. count it though too. They count how many they give you. And it's oh, like, just it's like really, just put that spoon in there. <laughs> they're like, no, there has to be six. And I was like, geez. And I, I told them when I was there, I said, well, I'll just pay for extra discharge. So put some more on. <laughs> and did they give you some? Yeah, they gave you some more. You're like, but they when better. I got to the, thing, the guy didn't charge me though. Really? Mm -hmm. You got lucky with that one. Yeah, I did. Barbara is blended. So we're gonna take again that same soft file and we're just gonna. It gets blurry. I don't know why it's blurry. I think. No, no. I, I think it might be the light or it could be the height of the camera too. Um, I mean, not the height, the height of your hand because it is up higher. 
So please bear with us, you guys. We are doing our best during the snatching of the phalanges. Do you like barbecue, Barbara? Yes, I love barbecue. Especially what? mine. Really? <laughs> I can I can cheat. I can actually do some serious You can throw it down. Absolutely, hands down. When we're in Texas, nobody wanted to go have barbecue. So we what? didn't have any. How could you not have barbecue? How can we go to Texas and not have barbecue is what I asked myself. Yeah. How could that be? Nobody wanted to go. Take the smoothie buff for you guys and gently buff the top surface of the phalange. And then hit that side, that free edge. Smoothing it up. Mm hmm. Looking nice and snatched. Hey, Lena, weren't they supposed to bring the roll away today? Do you want to call? Oh, you did? They were supposed to bring a roll away trash. Oh. Well, in my area, it's fresh and bulky week, and they still haven't come. What's that? You know, where you could put out all kinds of things, some furniture and all that. And, and they just pick it up, it up yeah. for free? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go drop off all my old trash there then. <laughs> it's brush and bulky in my area. So we're going to do a little bit of primer around that cuticle area. Oh, that's right. For all the girls in New Zealand, unfortunately, very unfortunately, um, Eno Couture New Zealand had some issues with the website. It got hacked. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So their website is down. So if you guys need to contact Daryl Harris, please do it, do so directly. So that way you can get all that good enocouture.com product in the land of the Kiwis. So please contact Daryl Harris. Yes, directly in Eno Couture, New Zealand. And also she does have some shiny refills, which is the first time they're available in New Zealand. So if you want to get shiny refill, please do so now. Take advantage of that. So I got my tweezers ready, and I just need my little silicone tool, and I think so, and we're ready to snatch up our little tool. So, silicone tool ready. Beautiful. How do you feel, Barbs? Like a million bucks. Did you do this one? And then right This is comfortable, by the way. Yeah, I like it too. So we're gonna go in with Or do you want more butterflies? Do you want more flowers or do you want more butterflies, Barb? Well, you, you do it. Okay. Whatever. Baby, we can do it. Take the time. Do it right. We can do it, baby. Do it tonight. So we're going to take some of our butterflies. Look at Barbara. She's grooving. So remember, you guys, when you apply our stickers, you want to make sure that they do not touch all the way to the side because if the sticker is too close to the edge, it will peel. So apply the sticker. Take your silicone tool and begin the application. Just like that. Beautiful. Now she wants to work the camera. And then take 
Get those scissors. Beautiful. Where the magic comes into play. See, if that sticker would have been all the way to the edge, it would have peeled. We are going to encapsulate the stickers though with our um, clear press on gel, and that will help give the nail volume and also give it a really beautiful, smooth finish. Yes. Oh, okay. Something that's low sodium. It's all about playing with the positioning of everything. So I'm going to get some of our other stickers. I think we're going to have maybe I was actually thinking I was gonna ask the girls, what do you guys think about like a holder for the stickers, like a little sticker book? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you guys think we should make like a little holder for the stickers. Maybe some hearts and stars. Yeah, for sure. Hearts and stars. And horseshoes, clovers and little moons. No, 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 no hearts. Pots of golden rainbows and a red balloon. That was a joke, Barbara. Oh. The Lucky Charms commercial. Oh, that's right. Wendy says she loves a sticker book, please. I was thinking about that. I'm really considering it. So, yeah. if the girls want one, we'll make one. Because yeah. the stickers, I think, are going to be here to stay. so beautiful about our sticker line for you guys is that they're so thin you really can go in and layer them without worrying about any like peeling or anything like that or bulk because they are so thin yeah that's why you got to follow manufacturer's instructions aka what i tell the girls and one of the most important things is really pressing it down. That's why I love using a silicone tool because it's free of oil and it will let you really like get that sticker snatch so that way you don't go anywhere. Can you see them coming together, Barbara? Terras the process. Yeah, for sure. Good idea. Two for one. Yeah, that was incredible. Look at that. Okay. 
execute there. Focus camera. Why does the camera not want to focus? Add some little elements. Yeah, and since it's clear, it's really cool because you can like pre premeditate where it's gonna be. Oh, they're doing okay. My dad was recently in the hospital because they had to clear out his heart. Because it wasn't working at full potential, so they had to go in and... What, they put a skin in or what? I'm not sure, but they put, they did something to both of his... Um... Yeah, they do it now from your um, veins to uh -huh. your arm and then send it all the way to the heart. So he had to spend the night in, uh, in the hospital not that long ago. It's amazing how they can do all of that now, you know, and before they used to have to crack your chest open. Oh my gosh. Everything. Like a oh, butcher. Yeah. My, my brother-in-law just, he got rushed to the hospital and he had the same thing. He had a stent put in and a balloon. Wow. And they did it through the arm, you know. Isn't it incredible how uh, the advancements that we have nowadays I in know. technology? And he was only in the hospital two days. Wow, and he's okay now? Yeah. Well, he's recovering. He's got, you know, at least a couple of weeks of recovery. What we're curious about is, is if my dad can fly or not. What do you mean? If he can go on an airplane. Why could he? Because he's got that heart monitor and everything. Well, he has a heart monitor, but they give you a thing to say you have a heart monitor. And you just show it on a thing and it can go through. But couldn't like the air pressure from the cabin and things like that also affect him? I don't know. I know people are terrible with them, so and they're fine. It, it's a specific thing that you will have to check with his cardiologist. Mm -hmm. So I told my mom to ask them too mm -hmm. to make sure. Better safe than sorry, because the last thing we want is you know him to have a heart attack on a, on a flight. Yeah. But knowing my dad, he always told us he said he was going to bury us all. <laughs> that sounds like your dad huh. too. I swear it sounds like it. I thought you guys aren't these adorbs. She wants a big one on the top. That's one of these big all blue ones. It's giving me some Michael Jackson vibes a little bit. It was funny because my brother and I the other day when we were going home, we were talking about little Kim. Uh -huh. And I was like, have you seen what she looks like now? And he said, Latoya Jackson. <laughs> Does she? No, well, kind of. <laughs> Maybe. A little bit. But she has some serious uh, Yes. But I mean, Latoya Jackson doesn't look that bad. No. Especially for her age, too. Oh, Latoya Jackson has to be one in her 60s, 70s. Oh. Because Janet was the baby. Oh yeah, Janet's definitely over 15. Where'd you go, Barb?
school can turn there that she can learn. But typically, it's as Barbara said, they will give him a card that shows, yeah, he has the ability to learn. That he has a pacemaker. He doesn't have a pacemaker. I mean, uh, card. Monitor. Monitor. And then when they want, they ask to change the batteries, I'm like, I ain't touching it. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> it makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah. It does. I'm like, have my brother do it. I don't want to do it. That's right. And it starts beeping all the time. I'm like, there you go. Beeping again. <laughs> what is it? Who was I looking for? Janet or Latoya? Janet? Yeah, she's definitely over here. Well, she looks good, though. She, looks, she yo yo's a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna get us some glitter. Let's do bow. That she acknowledges? No, that's what they say. But do you think that is true, Barbara? Yeah, I do. Really? You don't think Latoya would lie about her age? Oh, sure, but. But 54, uh, 64 is more or less? Jackson, she was. You can really see how, how bad it is. Right? Yes, that's where you can see the real age. Yep. So we're going to use two glitters today. This one is from Trick, and this one is 2 4K. Trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Do you know what a trick, trick is, Barbara? Yeah, I know what a trick is. <laughs> <laughs> Tricks are for kids. Right. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful laser gold. And then trick is a mixed. My kids run away when I have to use my insulin or my blood glucose in my trick. Really? Said, yeah. Oh, I don't feel so bad then. So we're gonna do one coat of press on gel over the entire cement. Like a little kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got older and I can't handle it. Really? You get queasy? I don't get queasy. It's just it's it makes you uncomfortable. The gitchy gotchies. Yeah. <laughs> gitchy gotchies. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use that one. I did start using more. Um, don't knock a girl. Yeah. Big shout out to what's her name? Juanita. coat of uh, clear press on gel over the entire nail and this is going to really start to encapsulate the sticker and make it look very 3d so it literally melts right into the nail but antonia says she loves those shows uh pimple poppers tobro all of those shows oh yeah gosh. i've heard about dr pimple popper 
and uh, a friend of mine had an ingrown uh, hair and I sent him a link of this lady that likes to watch uh, ingrown hair removal videos they're like oh my goodness uh, satisfying for her to watch <laughs> and I was like whoa I had never seen so much um, I don't know what it was but it was a lot coming out of that person yeah um, Jackie said she loved or was fascinated with the best part of nursing school Really? Don't tell me. Barbara's like, yeah, I'm going to check out on that one. <laughs> you know, but I, I watch uh, Nancy Drew. Yeah. Nancy Drew. Yeah. 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 Really? You don't need to watch them to uh, just watch the news? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. OMG Tobro. This, this uh, just shows how important foot care is. I don't, I never heard of Toe Broke. What's that? I don't know. It must be a show. It's called Toe Broke. About toes? I guess about your feet. With Toe bro? That sounds funny. No, but your feet are just, you, people really need to. They need to take care of their feet. It is essential. It is. So important. I'm trying to figure out where to put this one. Like in textbooks when we were in beauty school, I was like, where do they get these pictures from? And they're like, they're probably getting from like a mortuary or something. Uh, I watched the two crime shows, one is the BCS, I forget, it has nice social issues, and the other one is awesome. I know, um, the girls here like to listen to those kinds of things too. I, I like to see, I love CSI, I love CSI, the fiber unit where they had, um, Little Wayne the rapper? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. He can act? Yeah. Is he good? Yeah. Or is he okay? Tell Bro is on YouTube. No, he's good. He takes care of some really scary feet. Think back to pimple popper, but for feet. Oh my gosh. That sounds real serious. That's an industry that's never going out of style. And I heard it pays pretty well too. Mm-hmm. Could you be one, Barbara? And I remember this guy like me. Really? <laughs> and I was gone. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm gonna go peace out now. <laughs> was he good looking? Where I was like, I don't mess around with. Yeah, he's, he's very good looking. I also watched her. Was Max good looking? She's hilarious. Though? What about now? No. Yeah, like those days are long gone.
What was your, like, uh, what did you find attractive in a man barber? Because you know some women like tall men, some women like, um, muscles, some women like bellies, or they call them now dad bods. <laughs> a dad bod, that's so cute. I know, they do say there are dad bods. Um, so someone who definitely takes care of things, so not let this just go. Just in case. Some people like nice teeth. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. How I cool those are you guys? List. Let's yeah. bake these for 30 seconds. Let us know in the comments below what you girls, what the children find attractive. Smell, I think smell is very oh, important. smell is really I remember when I was a little boy. You know, that might be what you would attract you to. Well, visually first. Mm. Then I think the scent is serious. I remember when I was a little boy, my mom would always say, men should smell nice. Never leave the house without spraying something on. <laughs> is that what you want? Yes, ever since I was a little boy. Oh, so crazy. I always got in the habit of when I was, when every time I leave the home, uh, I always. Really? Yes, always, all the time. <laughs> Maybe Smelling bad. <laughs> so we're gonna do one more coat of pressed on gel over the entire phalange. I don't care for baby, but yeah, my kitchen is too. Hmm. Clean, well groomed, and great sense of humor. Yay, Jackie! There you go. Humor? Sense of humor? Oh, cleanliness. <laughs> so we're going in with one more layer of press on gel, and this is really encapsulating the nail and that glitter too, so that way it doesn't snaggle on anything. Yeah, I don't want to snag on my new weave when I get one. 28 inches. <laughs> but I'm gonna go and find some. Um, I'm gonna buy different hair. Really? Yeah. Clean therapy pre-stretched hair for braiding. Ooh. How long are you gonna go this time? I don't know. What do you mean? Like how long are you are you gonna go? Oh no, make them? Yes. Uh, just right below. Why aren't they gonna go like up to the waist or something? No, I don't I don't I don't want it that I don't want that much hair. So let's bake this for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. Not here in the summer. Too long? And that, I would imagine it gets hot with everything underneath, huh? Yeah. Even me too, it's like, ugh. Oh, no. I need a little AC pack or something. Mm. And my hair's short. Yeah. And then we're gonna put a coat of shiny on top of everything, and that shiny is gonna shrink wrap the nail. So that way everything stays nice and snatched. So that way when Barbie's doing tricks around the track, nothing comes off. <laughs> Jackie says, yep, can't get with nasty. <laughs> I love her. The smell really is like a, what do you call it, an aphrodisiac. Yeah, it is. You know, but I think the thing that attracts women the most, what? money. Yeah, but if you don't That was a joke. But you know, for men who have money and the women that know that they have money, that's a real big thing for them. Mm -hmm. Making sure that she likes them for them, and not because of the money. So we're gonna do a coat of shiny over everything. 
Do you like older men or younger men bar or around your age? My age. Really? Not too much older? Or around the so same I've age? Really? Five years older, really. Because otherwise, they're not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara's like, they're not on my level. Uh, oh, hello from France, dear Max. Bonjour. Cool. I don't know how to say that. These nails are adorable, Barbara. No, they are. When you come back, we'll have even more new styles too to choose from. Really? Yes. We'll have you want avocados on your nails? Avocados? Uh-huh. Avocados. Avocados. We're, we're making avocado stickers. Why? Because that's what the kids want nowadays. That's what they're asking? Yes, avocados. Mm. Really? Mm-hmm. Should I ask for watermelon? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we do have... We have avocados. We have... They're in the works. And we have limes Tomatoes? and lemons. Huh? Tomatoes? Tomatoes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bake this for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. Make sure everything is nice and baked. <laughs> Being employed! I like that one. Oh yeah. I don't Baby's want no regular. scrub. A scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Don't want anybody who's not clean. Sense of humor. Decent communicator. Has a beard. <laughs> oh, a lot of women like facial hair. I know. Can I think, like, for example, my mom's generation, they all grew up, they all married older men. Except, I think her two younger sisters married quite closer to their age, but they are older than them. But I know my mom and her older sister, there's a, there's a, a big age gap between them. Yeah, it, when I think about my mom, man, she was married three times. Every last <laughs> one of her husbands mm -hmm. was older. Was older, and the last one, um, I think he is fifteen years older. Wow. I think my mom and her, I mean my mom, my mom's older sister, which is my godmother, and her husband, I think there's 18 years apart. Really? But back in the day, that was very normal. Yeah, it was. Take it out, no. I'm sure it's dry. But isn't it kind of a double standard? Well, probably back in the day it was a double standard. Now I think it's a little bit more tolerated and you see it a lot in, more. In terms of a woman being a cougar? Yes. <laughs> We're going to bake it a little bit longer just because of her thumb. Thumb. Yep. I knew it. That thumb. She's pesky. Yeah. Would you pesky. want to date a younger man, Barbara? You know, when you get older, mm -hmm. you probably need to date a younger man. To keep up with you. Are, that's right. And the ones that are older than you, they're too old. They're too old to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Barbara. Spilling the tea. They're gonna have a heart attack. Start foaming at the mouth, Barbara. Yeah, 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 yeah. When do you start playing your Luther Vandross? Yeah. <laughs> Take it out now. Okay, Maria sends us big kisses. Ah, uh, messy. Both of us. I'm just gonna make sure that the sides, yeah. nothing is stuck there. And underneath is all done. Mm-hmm. And can you guys see how that nail has like a roundness to it? That's what we call the plumping effect. Plump up them lips. What them lips do? Somebody said they're actually older. Than their uh, husband? Yeah. Wait to get pink roses on my nails. I love Ooh, it. Be snatched. Very beautiful nails as always. Oh, thank you. My hubby is 16 years older than me, but he spoils me. Go ahead, Jackie. That's what I'm talking about. 16, that's a good number. If he looked like Jason Momoa, well, hell yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Antonio. She's I like, I'll make an exception. Elisa has a younger man, and she says, I love my younger man. He can keep up with her. 
Antonia is actually older than her husband. Really? Let's remove that dust. And then we're ready for our cuticle oil. Yeah, because you know my cuticles are dry. Up. Looks brush wipe. And there we have it, you guys. Look at that. She is snatched. And that cuticle is flawless. Beautiful. Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sticker realness for you. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. And don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the world. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.